But first thing you want to do, start by removing the engine cover and then the battery cover after the engine cover. You can see right here, it's being held down by clips already to, to go and out. And then remove this panel. And this is all just to have space to work with really, removing all this stuff. Because back here is the heater hose, as you can see. So we have to remove right here. And it's being held down by two clamps, one right there I pointed, but it's kind of loose, and that's how I was driving, so, so, and that's not even no OEM clamp, but I had to, I think previously there was work done to this hose before me, because it's supposed to be a three-part hose, but as you can see, it's just one hose running down. And there I'm pointing at the second uh, clamp. Because you can see right here, this is how it's supposed to look. So um, if you want pause it right here, the hose is three parts. And in the middle of the hoses is this connector. That basically rots over time. And starts causing leaks. And right here... This is after I already set up the, the hose and then we're about to install the new hose. And I have my brother helping me out. He's the one with the hose in the hand. So you just wanna start off from the bottom cause the bottom clamp is hard to take off, but you'll get it out eventually. But yeah, just start off with the bottom one. Make sure you have the clamp on it already so when you put in the hose, you don't have to take it out again. And remember that you have to add the clamp. But right here, we already clamped down the bottom of the hose. So now we're gonna have to clamp the, the other part of the hose. So we have to slide it in first. There's this groove that you wanna make sure it passes the groove when you're putting it in. So, here my brother's attempting to make sure the hose goes all the way in over the groove and it's pretty hard you know you might want to add some like lubricant some oil on it just to make sure the hose goes in right but i think my brother did do that and we we still kind of struggled but we got it eventually you know it's not impossible you'll eventually get it and right here i think the hose is um, it's already on it's just having to move the clamp all the way to the end of it as you can see right now my brother's moving it I think he did kind of struggle to move it right here at least all the way to the end I don't think we're successful to moving the clamp all the way to the end we ended up adding a second clamp one of the cheaper clamps just to hold it on hold it all tight in, in place right here you know and i think this is after everything is installed as you can see I had, we had to add a second clamp to it just to secure no leaks but this is going to take you about one or two hours, you know, 